Here's an HX35 turbo that the shaft broke in and that was pretty messed up. I was kind of afraid I wasn't going to be able to machine this out to the 67 millimeter turbine upgrade, but it actually turned out pretty well and didn't have any more scars left in the housing after the CNC machine work. The compressor wheel was also pretty messed up and the compressor housing, but after putting it on the CNC machine, we were able to machine the turbine housing and the compressor housing out for our 67 millimeter compressor and 67 millimeter turbine wheel upgrade. So this turbo is still saveable, though normally most people would throw a turbo like this away, but this is a good reminder that a lot of the times you could still upgrade to the larger wheels and have a like new turbo. We just have to build a new center cartridge for this turbo and it'll be like new again. Here's the finished product of this turbo. So we upgraded the compressor wheel to the 67 by 89 by 95 compressor wheel. And then I resurfaced the outlet flange and also machined out the turbine housing with the CNC machine to the 67 by 76 10 blade turbine. And I cut the gasket just a little bit so it would fit a little bit better. And then I did a complete rebuild, cartridge replacement, and did a compressor housing o-ring. So I machined the bearing housing for the compressor housing o-ring that we include in the kit. So I'll link to all the parts that I used in this build so you guys can check those out. If you want us to do this build, I highly recommend that you let us do it since we have it all on CNC and everything. We could do it pretty quickly. So uh, if you want us to do that for you, we can do that. And you can contact us at TurboLabAmerica at gmail.com. One common problem with the HX series is that sometimes the flapper arm will get stuck and seized up. So make sure you check that when you have your turbo off. Make sure it moves in and out. You don't want it to be stuck open or stuck closed. If it's stuck closed, then it will boost or it will over boost. But if it's stuck open, then it will not spool up correctly and it'll be hard to make boost. One thing I did a little differently was I welded little tabs onto the snap ring. This just makes it really easy to get a pair of pliers and compress that snap ring without the pliers slipping off the snap ring. I usually don't send them out like that. This one just happens to have be there. This one just happens to be the last of the C clips that I have in stock. So that was actually my tool that I made to check compressor housings. It just makes it really easy to work with. If you want to watch more videos like this, you can always subscribe to the channel. I do have some other videos such as like the HX40 rebuild. Because I know some people have been asking me about the HX35 rebuild. It's basically the same thing. But I do need to do an updated version of the HX40, HX35 rebuild. Because that video just wasn't very high quality. The camera I had wasn't very good. So I'll make sure I make another video like that. If you have requests of videos you'd like to have made, you can always comment them below. Or if you have questions, you can always contact me at turbolabamerica at gmail.com.